Hi everybody, welcome back. So recently I was looking at uh, a video review of this new enclosure by Zygmatech. It's called the Elysium. Um, took my eye for a couple of reasons. One, I thought I could make uh, make an internal uh, radiator install work. And two, the price. The price was very, very good. 149.99 plus shipping. Um, unfortunately, my case was damaged. The uh, suppliers, that's Special Tech, Special Tech UK, were more than helpful. They're sending me out just the individual parts I need as opposed to me having to send the whole thing back. So I could uh, carry on with the install. Um, what I was hoping to do was get the Tribe Work fans up top with the 360. I knew it would be close, but uh, <laughs> a little bit too close for comfort, but it does fit. And I will be cleaning that red. I know it's filthy. So in goes the board. Um, for a test fit with a couple of screws, that's all good started dropping another couple of components in there even though it is built as one of the largest PC enclosures currently available as soon as you put some hardware in there it soon gets full up um, made a special effort with the uh, cable management to try and make this one look really tidy I've got a bit more to do uh, but it's all in and it's up and running I've seen a few builds recently with white tubing so I thought I'd go with uh, white tubing as it looks uh, looks pretty nice so we now have, contrary to my last video, <laughs> um, dual loop system with a radiator on the inside for the CPU and chipset. Uh, that runs a 360. And the quad radiator for the GPUs is still external. Uh, some people are trying to get this uh, particular case using uh, that radiator in the front. But unfortunately, when you do that, uh, you completely close the front of the case off. You have no option for optical drives, fan controllers or anything else in the front. The 480 will fit, uh, but the, you can't fit anything else. So this is what I've done for now. I can always change it around. Um, so I've got some more tests and uh, more temperature checks to do. But so far, so good. Um, it's pretty obvious to me that the GPUs under load are probably five degrees lower because I've still got a dual pump set up on the 480 so the, f the flow rate is incredible and now the CPU loop is only um, on one pump there's only the uh, CPU block and the chipset block for it to work with so uh, it's not quite as restrictive so one pump can manage that perfectly well uh, that's the rear panel. There's an option for a fan there that blows onto the heat sink on the back of the CPU. I'm not sure quite whether that makes a lot of difference. And you can see there, 3532 are idle with, uh, with that setup. So that's where we are right now. I shall do some more testing and then do another video when I've got some more information for you. That's a very quick look at uh, Black Beauty's new coat, the Zygmatech Elysium. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.